Good afternoon. Welcome to the Midday Mall for Wednesday, the 21st of October. In Daniel chapter 5, we have the story of the great feast that Belshazzar, king of Babylon, gives. And in uh, thumbing his nose at God, he brings the vessels from the temple and uses them for feasting. And we're told that, that a human hand appeared and wrote on the wall and nobody could read it or understand it. And so they called Daniel to come and he reads those, um, the, the, the words that were written, meany, meany, tackle, parson. And he, he interprets it saying, meany means God has numbered your days. Tackle, you have been weighed in the scales and found wanting in Perez or div divided your kingdom has been divided and taken from you. Um, and this is a, uh, it struck me that we use the idea of the writings on the wall all the time in, in society. And I was wondering how many people know where it comes from. And the fact that it is so much um, part of our society should challenge us in our arrogance. We have a society that has been shaped by the Christian faith, been shaped by scripture, been shaped by biblical thinking. And yet so many people have turned away from it, doing exactly what Belshazzar did. Because Daniel says to him, your father was humbled by God. Your father, King Nebuchadnezzar, was humbled by God. And he repented and he turned in and he acknowledged God. But you have thumbed your nose at God. You've taken the, the vessels from the temple and you've used them in your feasting, ultimately saying that God is completely irrelevant. And you are more important than God. And therefore, you're going to lose your kingdom. And we're told that very night, Belshazzar, king of the Babylonians, was slain. And Darius the Mede took over the kingdom at the age of 62. And I wonder if that message doesn't need to go to society. We thumb our nose at God at our peril. Um, things are all very well. We'll feast and enjoy ourselves. But at what, some point... God will step in and say, that's it. Um, I'm holding you to account for what you have done. So we need to be um, a light in this society. We need to stand for, firm on the word of God. We need to defer to the word of God. We need to proclaim the word of God. And we need to call people back to the word of God. Um, we need to be that, that kind of, um, of a prophet to the people, whether they listen or not. We, we, we don't determine that, but we need to be clear in our message. So may your life today shine out the gospel values that shape us, have shaped our society, and that put God at the center. And in doing that, may you be blessed.